What's going on? Welcome to Asian Cosell. If you guys can give me the HKO special, help the king out, hit the like, subscribe, and comment. All right, so here we go. Uh, of course, uh, Colorado played Oregon, um, and of course, they did uh, finally got their butts kicked 42 to 6. So, Oregon coach blasts Colorado in a fury pregame speech. They're fighting for clips, and we're fighting for wins. So, yep, number 10, Oregon, is hosting number 19, Colorado. So, everybody wants a shot at the Colorado Buffaloes now that they're the hottest story in sports. Head coach Dan Lenning is the latest head coach to rip Colorado, blasting the program before the Pac-12 matchup Saturday. Before Deion Sanders' Buffaloes face Colorado State, the Rams head coach Jay Norrell ripped Sanders' attire. And then, of course, uh, I take my hat and glasses off when speaking to adults, uh, Norrell said. So, yeah. So, there they go. And that was a direct shot at Sanders, but Lanning took a shot at the entire football program in a Fury pregame speech. So, rooted in substance, not flash, rooted in substance. Today, we talk with our pads. We talk with your helmet. Every moment, Lanning said at the beginning of his speech that ESPN showed during the first half. Landing also made a prediction about Colorado Cinderella story. So that Cinderella story is over, man. They're fighting for clips. We're fighting for wins. That's the difference, he said. The game ain't going to be played in Hollywood. It's going to be played on the grass. And here is the 30-second speech. Rooted in substance, not flash. Rooted in substance. Today, we talk with our pads. You talk with your helmet, right? Every moment. The Cinderella story is over, man, right? They're fighting for clicks, we're fighting for wins. There's a difference, right? There's a difference, right? This game ain't gonna be played in Hollywood, it's gonna be played on the grass, right? It's gonna be played on the grass. Let's go. So there you go, yep. There was the uh, pregame speech on Twitter. The speech seems to be working because first half has been all Oregon. And Oregon scored a touchdown on all but one of his drives in the first half. His third drive included a fake punt from his own 17 line. The Buffaloes punted on each of their first four drives. Two were three and outs, and chance of overrated or loud and clear toward the end of the first half. So as both teams enter the locker, Oregon led 35-0. Colorado just had 21 yards of offense in the first half, and Oregon had 378. ESPN caught up on landing after first, and yet he delivered another shot. I hope all those people has been watching every week are watching this week, he added, adding he still wasn't satisfied with what has transpired in the first 30 minutes. So both teams into the day 3-0. Buffalo avoided an upset to the Rams last week, coming away with a 43-35 overtime victory. So, yeah. So it was, a, uh, you know, um. And, of course, you know, Dion uh, was, you know, said, hey, uh, we got a bus kick. We, you know, just didn't, uh, yeah, play. And Oregon was tough. So he even said it. So, yeah. Now has, uh, and, you know, um, the betting odds said that or that uh, Colorado would win three games. So he's already done that. So the question is they play USC next week. And, that's going to be a, a tough one because USC ain't no joke with Lincoln Riley and all them. So we're going to see how that game's going to go. Um, but this, the schedule is going to get much tougher. So, you know, if Colorado can be, you know, at least maybe possible bowl eligible five or six games, you know, that's an accomplishment for uh, Colorado. So, yeah. But, you know. So far, you know, yeah, this is a loss for Colorado, but yeah, three and one, and you know, it's just going to be a long season. So it's just remain to be seen what a Dion's going to do. But truth, the truth of the matter is, Oregon just pretty much put the haps on Colorado at forty-two to six. So, yep. So we'll stay tuned and see what happens against USC next weekend, and. Yeah, that's all I got to say. So if anybody enjoyed this content, please give me the HKL special. Hit the like, subscribe, and comment. All right, I'll see you in my next video.